Hi guys, this is Ian Agosa from Dual Shockers. We're going to play 13 Sentinels Age of Swim. Uh, I'll be live translating the dialogue as I play, and we are gonna do this like a let's play. So, there will be multiple videos like this coming from Dual Shockers. Uh, so, if you never heard of 13 Sentinels Age of Swim, uh, it's the latest game from Vanilla Rare. Uh, it just released on November 28 in Japan on PS4. Uh, it was announced in the West a really long time ago, but we've no release date yet. Uh, this this search, 13 Sentinel game was announced like in in 2016 or something and got delayed tons of time. Uh, a Vita version was also cancelled, but now it's finally out in Japan, so we're gonna play it together. So Vanilla Wear is a studio behind. Mercy's Crown, Odin Sphere, Dragon's Crown, Muramasa, uh, um, they're known for these TD 2D scrolling action RPGs. Uh, however, 13 Sentinels is actually an adventure game, it's not an action RPG. So, an adventure game in the Japanese term means it's like a visual novel. And the battle system is actually a tactical RPG with mecha battles. Uh, the mecha are called the Sentinels. So, 13 Sentinels, uh, as its name suggests, are 13 different protagonists, uh, with each one with its own story. Uh, this is the 13 characters you can see here on the title screen. And basically, the story is about how the protagonists are fighting against an, uh, an alien invasion. <coughs> And we also have some time travel because the uh, alien invasion started in the future, so they go back in the past to try and stop it, etc. And there's time travel, there's memory manipulation, there's I think there's some another dimension stuff too. So it's a uh, really it's tons of sci-fi stuff mixed in, and there's a lot of sci-fi reference to the 80s, to old movies like E.T. Uh, it seems like super complicated. I did play the demo in the past, but I'll basically be discovering the game as I'm doing this. So I'll be live translating, but I probably won't understand any everything. But I do my best to live translate. And um, one last thing before we start going, before stopping, is that. At the beginning of the game, you cannot access the options, uh, meaning I cannot deactivate the dialogue auto scrolling. This means I probably won't have the time to fully translate the first scene in the game, but I'll be trying anyway, so I'll be starting now. Let's go, new game. I repeat, we have an emergency announcement. The unidentified giant object is still destroying the city. The city of Ashitabashi is currently being evacuated. Uh, please follow the instructions of the police and evacuate. Uh, please avoid using your car to evacuate. So this is the very first thing in the game, so we don't know, we don't really know what's happening yet. Uh, she just summoned her mecha. It really began. Just like you said. Just like in this movie, giant monsters appeared. And this is how we started uh, riding robots and fighting. Just, just as if it was decided from the start. Uh, it's telling me uh, auto save. Oh, it's telling me that in the auto save slot, there's a there's a save that's further away in the game because I I launched the game beforehand. I'm gonna say no, and we're gonna 
uh, yeah, I'm gonna auto save or override the save. Yes, and we're gonna keep going. Uh, May 27th at 16. Uh, this is inside the robot. Wait, why I am naked? Running the D signals are approaching. This, is this my voice? It's resonating in my head. Uh, entering battle mode. Oh, they're getting closer. How do I move this thing? Can you hear me, Fusaka? Goto Senpai? Why are you in Sekigahara's Sentinel? Wait, are you from the future or like A? Uh, there's no time to, talk, to tell you about this. You're already in, under attack from the D. I came here to fight, but there's no controls in the cockpit. How do I control this thing? There's no time, so I'll just tell you the basics. The sentinels are controlled with your head. It's like if you have another body. You should be able to do it. Uh, like this? Wow, I moved. What is this thing? Uh, there's a rage feeling in my head. These are the nano machines in your head and the link system. The information from the sentinel is directly coming to your head and you should be hearing it as your own voice. Can you move now? Yes, I can walk. They are coming. There's a blinking thing in my field of vision. This, this is your equipment. Use it and defeat the D coming. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but hey. Eh. Okay, so this is a tutorial battle. Uh, it's telling me how to play. I can select the units with the cursor and with yeah, X button. Uh, pick the action and pick uh, machine cannon. Uh, so yeah, it is, it's in real time, so if I don't pick a character, the enemies will start attacking. It's tactical RPG, but also a real time. Uh, it's mixed swift with... Uh, how do we call this again? With tower defense, like because there's some things you need to protect. So machine cannon, and here we can aim with the joystick. Uh, I'm gonna aim at these two walker, deimos, two kaiju monsters, giant monsters. Oh, there's all the monsters coming from there. Wait, you should use other weapons according to the situation. There, you should use the rockets. Eh, what? The what? Which one? Uh, look at your screen. Uh, it should be in your shoulder. So imagine using your shoulder. Uh, like this. So now we can use the rockets. Uh, I'm gonna pick her again. Action. Uh, here, rockets. Uh, you can see it costs 100 EP to use this. So certain weapons have basically uh, it's basically an MP system like you that in all RPGs. Um, so you're gonna aim this and use the rockets on this guy. And you can see uh, the power, the um, how much damage this will do. Basically. It means that it's hitting eight times. Uh, there's eight missiles. Uh, each missile will do 150 of damage. I did it. I, I defeated them. Fusaka, can you retreat? There's a giant monsters coming. Wait, from where? Fusaka. The 15 Sentinel got damage. Oh, there's another one. 
sentinel number 13 activated. Uh, another sentinel just teletransported. Who is it? This is the 13th unit. I'm going to support Fuyusaka. Kurabe, what are you doing here? I don't want this town to end just like Sector 3. Wait, did your memories come back? Uh, I think I did it just like this in my dream. I can do this. No, wait until the defensemen come. No. I'm not Fuyusaki, I, uh, I'm Kurabe Juro. Um, basically, this guy lost his memories. Uh, he got his memories rewritten or something. So he was remembering his name wrong, but now he just remembered his own real name, which is Kurabe, instead of forgot, forgot what the fake name is. So we can use Heavy Nut Call. Uh, it's really cool because each weapon has its attack animation, basically, you can check what it does. Uh, so we can do a close range attack with this guy. G uh, attack the G motor. Wait, these moves is really not easy me. What's going on here? And uh, this was a first battle in the game, one of the tutorials there will be more. And now we're moving on to the adventure part, and uh, we're, we're gonna control the very first protagonist of the label, which is this guy, Kurabe. Uh, at the beginning, we can only pick him. Oh, I can access the options now. Uh, save. Now, let's gonna save. Let's save. Okay, we saved. Uh, go back to the title. Options. Okay. Uh, BGM voice. Okay, this is the auto scrolling. I'm gonna deactivate it. So now I'll be able. I love the time to translate without being in a hurry. Uh, what are the other options? Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Auto save. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna pick Kurabe. Kurabe Juro. Uh, uh, 1985 in class B of some school. I didn't have the time to read everything. Uh, again. What is this weird feeling? Hey, let's go, I'm Jiro. Shibakun. Okay, so now I can move with my joystick and analyze things with, with X button. Uh, so yeah, it's really beautiful, just like every single vanilla rare game that ever existed. And this is pretty much the most beautiful 2D game like in this era and that now. I just look at this, I mean, the light effects and the classroom and the characters. Anyway, let's talk to this guy. Uh, what are you doing like with this really weird fa face? Uh, I don't know, sometimes I get this weird... I get this weird feeling at times. What are you talking about? Like, I feel as if there's something wrong with my life or with the school itself. Wait, which movie are you trying to sell me here? So... And now it's explaining to me the cloud sync system. Um, basically, as you progress in the uh, story, uh, you can have some keywords and you can think about these keywords with triangle. And now we have the keyword uh, Shibata, so the guy that we just talked to, and we can think about this guy. Uh, Shibakun is like a, a bit of a red guy. 
but he's my best friend because we can chat together about movies and um, special effect movies and tokusatsu so they are friends together okay uh, let's talk to him again uh, speaking of movies uh, here uh, this is uh, the VHS uh, I, you lent me Wait, uh, I lent this to you yesterday, you already watched it? You're super fast Wait, the, well, I really like giant robots fighting in, in uh, urban areas, so yeah You really like giant robots, huh? クラウドシンクスのにキーボードの中には他のキャラクターに対して使用できるものもあります。So uh, uh, this is explaining to me that I can use keywords on characters. So now I can use uh, items, basically I can use items on characters. So this is a VHS, I'm gonna give it to him. Here. Uh, if you have another good movie, be sure to lend it to me. Yeah, sure. Are uh, you really a, a movie freak, huh? Uh, I'm probably watching too many films nowadays. Uh, lately, uh, it's like I often see movies, scenes in my dreams. This means. Uh, this means you have some kind of disease related to movies and one day you'll be unable to tell the difference between movies and the reality oh yeah I remember there was a movie like this uh, uh, it's following me now okay so press circle button to run oh, I can run with a circle button okay Usami, let's go home. Uh, sorry. Uh, I need to meet someone. Uh, wait. Is it Nenji? No, it's not him. Uh, I need to meet a guy, but he's, he's not really a guy either. Uh, Yori also have some male friends now. It's like. You're all friends with guys now, except for me. Uh, calm down, Miyako. So, mi Miyako, uh, uh, give me a second. Do you need something? Uh, no, not really. Uh, so yeah, what I was saying. So Miyako is a girl on the left. Uh, I forgot the name. Of the girl at the right, but yeah, I interrupted them speaking, so let's just leave, I guess. Oh, I can't leave yet. Uh, let's speak to this girl. That was the girl which was in the robot just now. Fuyusaka is always sleeping. Uh, school is over, so maybe I should wake up. Speaking of which, in the movie I saw yesterday, there was a, a girl riding a robot. Let's wake her up. Uh, we can't. Uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, you know that movie, it was at the rental shop. You mean that movie? Really? You want it, right? You want to lend it, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, wait. Uh, give me a second, I need to go pick something. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, it's, it's a bit annoying because even if I deactivate it auto scrolling for the dialogues, there are still some dialogues which move on their own, basically. It's when other characters are speaking or when he's speaking by himself. So the dialogue is moving it's uh, automatically, so it's hard to translate at the same time. Uh, anyway, 
Fusaka, wake up. Huh? Uh, class is over, you know. Kurabe? Oh, thank you. Uh, you were sleeping really well. Uh, uh, I just saw a really weird dream. Uh, you were in the dream. Me? Uh, what kind of dream was it? Uh, hey, this is bad, Jiro. Amiguchi wasn't in wasn't in his classroom. Hey, what's going on here? Uh, are you two like in this kind of relationship? Yeah, no, no. Yeah, don't mind me, I'll, I'll just keep going. Uh, sorry, Fusaka. Uh, please tell me another time. Okay. So, the, these three girls are friendly with each other? Uh, I need to go on too. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll go on just alone. So, uh, another time I'll buy you some creeps. Hey, you. Could you move? Oh, sorry. Uh, I liked the uh, scenery from the older classroom, but I really liked the uh, new classroom too. Uh, we can see the park from here, so I really like this new scenery. Okay. Everyone's doing their best uh, at the, the sports. They're, they're training, they're practicing this much, so it must be really fun. She's talking by herself. Okay, I should go on now. Uh, she seems like a weird girl talking by herself. Okay, so let's speak to our friend. Uh, sorry for, for teasing you. Uh, it's your fault for keeping it secret. Yeah, so Amiguchi. We need to... to you need to reach him. You want to go to you want to go to his house? Yeah, all, all these games are waiting for me. But this guy, if you don't uh, if you don't take an appointment with him, basically, he'll never be at home. Uh, we have some new stuff to think about. Okay, so the thing in yellow means I already thought about it. Yeah, it's, it's saying the same thing as earlier. And the green things means I didn't think about it yet. So Fusaka, Fusaka Iori is the girl who was in the robot area. She's a weird girl who's always sleeping. But she often appears in my dreams. So I often end up, end up thinking about her. Reno video. Uh, so the movie. This is a really unpopular movie. Uh, it's hard to get it. Uh, he's talking about the video you want to to grab at the rent at the rental shop. Uh, let's think about Amiguchi. Uh, Amiguchi seems a bit like a delinquent. Uh, 
But he's actually really good at sports, at studying, and he's also really popular with the girls. And his family is really rich too. Uh, in uh, Addis room, he has all the latest consoles and games. So he's a rich guy. Uh, we can speak about Amiguchi to Shiba. Uh, Amiguchi always go buy something before going back home. So he's probably still in the school right now. Maybe he's at uh, like eating room, like how do we say this in English again, in the canteen, in the school canteen. Uh, I saw him uh, in the canteen uh, um, during break time. So I guess we should go there now. No, I can't. We can't leave now. Uh, she's calling me. Uh, Kurabe. Uh, yes, Sawatari. Can I just in your hair and leave? Uh, I can't be a bad guy. Oh, she's following with me now. <laughs> Wait, Kurabe. Uh, can I just in your air? No, I, sh I can't. Okay. Uh, the papers uh, are on the desk. Can you bring them to Morimura Sensei in the in the uh, in the nurse in the nurse uh, nurse? Uh, how do you say this again? In the health, like where the students go when they, when they have a health problem, where when they get hurt. Uh, me? Yeah, it's your turn to do it this week. Oh, uh, I didn't know. Okay, I need to pick pick up this. Uh, how do I pick up this? Okay. Uh, these are the papers. Yes. Uh, please uh, do it. Okay. So she's leaving too now. Can I leave too now? I need to speak to this guy again. Uh, I need to tell him I need to bring these papers. Uh, sorry, I can't go with you anymore. I need to bring this to a professor. Wait, really? Uh, anyway, I'm gonna go to the canteen to find um, uh, Amiguchi. Bring your bag so you can go directly to the canteen too later. Uh, where is my bag? Is that this one? No. Uh, is that this one? Yeah, it's this one. Um. Sonohoka no So it's telling me with the touchpad I can open the backlog to read the past dialogues and with Air One I can fast travel basically. And if uh, if in the location I mean there's still some events that need to happen, then I won't be able to fast travel. Okay. And you can open uh, you can open the explanations for the game with the option button. Okay. Uh, yeah, I can save. Oh, this is interesting. I can retry. This means like there's different choice. Uh, if you pick the bad choice, you can restart the scene. That's interesting. Uh, let's save again. Uh, 26 minutes already. Uh, so time goes so fast. Okay, we can leave now. Yeah, we can leave now. Uh, if I press R1, I can leave directly. Uh, oh no, this is... Wait, I didn't get it then. This is... Uh, oh, it wasn't fast travel, it was fast forward basically. I didn't, I didn't read that correctly. If you wanna wait for someone or something, I don't know. I'm not sure what this function is for. 
maybe if you wanna wait for something to happen okay let's leave now um, let's go to the nurse the nurse office to the health office to bring the papers uh, the professor isn't here I guess we need to put the papers here. What should I do with the papers? I guess I should just leave them, leave them here. Uh, there's a photo of myself on the professor's desk. Uh, I wonder what is this for? So let's examine this. Uh, I'm just gonna take a look a little bit. That's a small look. Izumi Juro. Izumi Juro. Uh, the photo. That's me on the photo. But uh, the name is wrong. I'm not Izumi, I'm Kurabe. Uh, what? Uh, so is reading the paper now? Yeah, it's saying, uh, um, how do I just say this? Uh, 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 the subject took, uh, took, took some medics and his situation is stable now. His, uh, and there are no problems with with the subject and uh, is in a normal state now uh, medicine huh? oh kurabe she's uh, mori mori mura sensei uh, I'm gonna speak to her. Uh, what's wrong? I'm gonna sh give her the, the papers. Uh, professor, you forgot your papers in the classroom. Oh, you brought them for me? Yeah, I, I was told it was my turn to do it this week. Are uh, you really a good kid? Thank you, you are great help, thank you. Uh, uh, Shiba is waiting for me, so I should go to the canteen now. Uh, can I speak to her again? Uh, Alright. Shirabe. Uh, uh, how do you feel these days? Uh, so now I can think about this. Oh, I need to speak to her about it. Shoshi. Yeah, Shoshi, it means like uh, your, your current state. How do you feel? Uh, how do I feel? Uh, in other words, if you have... Um, if you have a, a really fast heartbeat, or if you have some migraines, or some headaches, or... Uh, are you sleeping well in at night? Uh, why are you asking me all this? Uh, because there's a, there's a lot of people getting, uh, getting a cold recently. Uh, in this current season, uh, people getting calls. Uh, that's pretty surprising. Uh, 
just in case, you should take this medicine. Oh no. Oh no, thank you. Uh, okay. Uh, I need to go now. Can I speak to her again? Uh, do you still need something? So you want to take the medicine, right? No, no. Oh, it's, the, it's telling me the same thing. Okay. okay. Oh, I can move while thinking. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. That's cool. You can move while thinking. I didn't, I didn't know this. That's pretty funny. Okay, so let's leave now. Oh, you're still here. Oh, Shiba, what's going on? Uh, Amiguchi wasn't in the canteen, so I came here. Uh, I think we, can, we won't find him today, so ju let's just go to the rental store and go home. Let's go. Uh, I don't have the time to read this. This is annoying. It goes way too fast. It was saying like the Kairi Michi, uh, the the path they take to go home from school, basically. Uh, there was something else written, but I, I didn't get the time to read it. Uh, just two girls chatting here. Can I speak to them? No, I can't speak to them. Uh, this the sunlight effect is really nice here. Uh, let's speak to this guy. Uh, what's wrong? Uh, we couldn't find uh, Amiguchi and we didn't find anything at the rental video store either. So it's really annoying. Uh, the, f the movie we rented to rent was already rented, but we did find something nice, didn't we? Oh, that really old kaiju movie, that really old, like, uh, giant monster movie? Daimos vs. Me Mecha Daimos. It's a really fa famous movie from, the from 1994. Uh, I usually like this stuff, huh? robots and giant monsters. Uh, I saw this in a magazine. Uh, uh, this month at the theaters, uh, they are doing the first generation Daimos movie. You wanna go see it? Uh, how many times are you gonna see this movie, man? Uh, we can leave now. Ah, uh, I'm gonna. I wanna. I wanna chat with these girls. Uh, I don't have the time to translate all this. Ah, uh, just talking way too fast. To translate this. Uh, translate this uh, in the opening. Uh, the, the two girls at the right are saying that when I go, when I go to the to the to the game center, and the other girl said that there's a lot of delinquents at the game center, so she doesn't want to go. And uh, this is funny because, like in the in the past in Japan, like game centers and stuff, uh, where where where. Uh, Whereas the place where all the data increments would go, now it's not the case anymore. Um, she was saying that uh, her big brother or, or little brother, I don't remember, was saying to her parents like, uh, either you buy me some games, either I go to the arcade and I, I become a data increment too, uh, which is very funny because some people actually said used, used to say that uh, in France or. Uh, I, I I heard a streamer talk about this too, so this is funny. And the girls at the, at the left, I don't remember what they were saying. 
something about the TV commercial and seeing some popular singer or something. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be particularly important. Uh, we can leave. There's some kind of eerie, eerie music right now. Uh, Mura. Uh, this Mura guy is one of the 13 protagonists. Uh, do you know this guy? Let's chat with him. Hey, Nira. Uh, Juro. Uh, what are you doing here? Uh, are you okay? Uh, you look really, you look really bad. Uh, are you feeling unwell? No, I'm fine. Hey, you've got something on your forehead. Uh, didn't it just blink? Didn't it just, uh, yeah, blink? Oh, so sorry. Uh, it's better if you don't, uh, if you don't touch me. Uh, what is this? Uh, my hand is growing too. Masaka. Uh, what's going on? No. Uh, Thirteen Sentinel uh, teletransportation. Uh, teleportation. Wait, you have a Sentinel? Uh, what was this? Uh, look here. Uh, you summoned your sentinel? Wait. Uh, its form is a bit different. Uh, is that a, a giant robot from a movie? Uh, idiot, what are you doing? Uh, summon it back. Uh, bring it back. Uh, send it back, uh, hurry. Uh, is that my fault? Uh, this is uh, this is Okino's code. Uh, uh, Okino made it. Uh, Okino with, with his code made it so you can forcefully activate uh, so, uh, something. I'm not sure this. Uh, I bet this is really bad. Uh, you. Uh, so yeah, for now, I'll, I'll make you forget this. Shiva? So I guess this Shiva, this Shiva guy is pretty, is pretty fishy, and he's, he's the one manipulating his memories or something. Uh, so yeah, this was the first product of the game, and now we're gonna move into the other products. Uh, I'm not sure what are, what are these things. Mystery file, Tenny, the num I got 8 meet mystery files and I got 4 event ar archives. But I, I don't know what, what these things are. Uh, I will check in the menu later. So yeah, we finished the first product and we're gonna move on to the second product now. Uh, now we're gonna play as another character. We're gonna play a uh, forget forget her name, so let's just pick her. I'm gonna save first. Uh, we are 40 minutes already. Uh, let's play with this girl now. Uh, she's Fuyusaka Fuyusaka Iori Fuyusaka. Uh, we're in 1985. I probably don't need to translate the dates, I mean, it's just numbers. Uh, she's late. Uh, she's seeing rare dreams, so I didn't sleep properly because of my rare dreams, and now I'm late for school. Uh, anime cliche. Uh, are you okay? Uh, you're probably fine. Uh, it's dangerous to run like this. Sorry. 
Uh, you are. Oh, is class is gonna start. Uh, they look similar. Uh, she dropped this. Uh, it's a student, student ID, I guess. She's Fusaka Iori, a uh, first year. Uh, I should. Uh, it's better if I uh, investigate this. Uh, Yuri. Uh, hi. Uh, you were sleeping really well. Our uh, class is over. Uh, the professor was really angry. Yeah, sure, you were, you were sleeping like so soundly. I'm Kisaragi Tomi and I'm Sawatari. I'm. You're Fusaka, right? Uh, the, the teacher called you, but you were sleeping. Yeah, she's gonna be bad for my reputation. So now we have this girl, and we're in another classroom that's area. This is a really old classroom. Wait. Why is this? Why is this auto scoring again? Did I deactivate this? <laughs> uh, oh, I can go back to the to the beginning of the scene if I want. No, I don't want. Uh, let's open the menu. That's that's really rare. Uh, for some reason, uh, the auto scoring became on again. Let's deactivate it again. Oh, I think I get it. I think basically each protagonist, each have his own, each have his own settings. Basically, you can change the settings, protagonist, pre protagonist. This is pretty interesting. Oh uh, yeah, and um, yeah, and. Uh, uh, Yeah, I think each protagonist actually have his own settings, so I, I need to deactivate auto scoring for all the characters basically. Uh, it's telling me, I just noticed, but it, it's telling me I can deactivate it during the game by pressing R2, so uh, I'm just gonna do this now. Next time for each protagonist, I'm just gonna press R2, so it's deactivate. Uh, so she was speaking about who? Uh, Miwa-chan is my best friend, she's a really calm girl, uh, she's talking about the girl at the left with the twin tails, with the pigtails, I mean, I forgot what the, with the flowers basically. Uh, she's really bad at chatting with guys, but she's really interested in love stories. Ah, okay, I got the one button, okay. Let's chat with them. Hi, uh, nice to meet you. Yeah, Kisara, Kisaragi, nice to meet you too. Yeah, you can call me Usami. Yeah, it's just a nickname. It's just a nickname, but uh, I like it a lot. Oh, so you can call me Iori too. And uh, you can call me Mi Miwako. Uh, you're always sleeping. Like, do you do you do some something at night or something? Uh, not really, but uh, I, I uh, recently I'm always seeing weird dreams and I'm always waking up in the middle of the night. Uh, what kind of weird uh, of weird dreams? I don't remember it much, but for example, yesterday I was some, in some place, uh, in some city, in some place that was burning 
And there was a giant shadow getting nearer to me. And then I woke up. Uh, this is Usami Chan uh, sitting on the desk in front of me. She, she's wearing she's wearing red glasses and um, she's a bit of a red girl of a red girl. Uh, we can speak to her now. Uh, which was which place was you? Uh, which school was your middle school, Usami chan? Your junior high school? <laughs> uh, something really far away. Uh, yeah, I can't help but, but worry about it. Usami? What? Uh, are you going well with Goto with Goto Senpai? Goto? No, not really. Why are you asking me this? Yeah, he's a really popular he's really popular among the girls. Uh, really this guy? Like this guy is popular? I saw you speaking with him in the corridor. No, he's really not my type of guy. He's just a friend. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, it's not lunch time yet? Uh, you, you're still feeling sleepy, huh? Uh, so... Uh, saying the same thing, uh, I'm gonna speak to her. Uh, uh, your forehead is really red. Uh, probably because you were sleeping on a, uh, on her desk. Uh, this is probably because uh, when I was coming to school this morning, I I I hit someone. Uh, you're blushing. Eh? Something happened, right? Uh, to tell you the truth, uh... The, the, guy, the guy I hit was really cool. Uh, so when I remember it, uh, um, my heart is beating really fast. Isn't that love at first sight? Really? Yeah, it, it, it was a fateful encounter. Yeah, uh, really? <coughs> Sorry. Kininaru Kare. She's talking about the guy she met uh, this morning. Yeah, we can think about it. Yeah, when I think about him, uh, I've, I'm getting really excited for some reason. I wish I could have spoken to him more. Uh, his school uniform is different, so it's probably not from my school. Today we're going home together, right? Tell me more about the uh, guy from this morning. Uh, Usami, you want to go home together with us? There's a new crepe shop that just opened. Crepes, huh? Yeah, let's go. Oh, what does this sound? Uh, the door, the door was blocked. This is really an old classroom. Yeah, but you shouldn't break it. 
I didn't break it. Uh, let's pick Chris's girl now. Uh, Nat chan, your class this isn't your classroom. Uh, your classroom is the one just just other side. Just uh, is this just the other classroom? Yeah, it's fine. I just wanted to see you guys. Uh, are you friends? Yeah, she is Natsuno chan. Uh, the three of us have been in together since grade school. Uh, Natsuno, this is Usami. She's our new friend now. I'm Kisaragi Usami. Uh, and I'm Minami Natsuno. Nice to meet you. Uh, I can't talk with. Uh, I can think about the old classroom. Uh, this is a really old classroom. This is a kind of classroom like it's really surprising to see one like this now, these days. Uh, let's speak with Minami about the classroom. Uh, this really old classroom. Uh, Basically, she's saying that they are using this very old classroom because they are currently building a new classroom, but uh, the building got late. Uh, the construction, the construction is late. Uh, yeah, uh, the, uh, we'll be moving to that new classroom starting next month. Yeah, but this current classroom is really old. I heard it was built during the war. So doing what doing World War Two. Oh really? So like this means it's older than than forty years. So oh another girl. So yeah, I was saying. So this means like in this world it's a fictional world, but World War Two also happened in this world. So uh, this girl with the glasses. Uh, long black hair, she's studying. Uh, oh, Minami, you were here. Oh, you found me. Uh, what are you doing in another class? The teacher told you to prepare for the next class. Yeah, I know. Oh, right. Uh, the cat you talked to me about the other time, I saw it in school now. Eh, hey, where? Uh, Ikashitsu? I didn't get that. Uh, let me check. Oh, uh, in Rika, Rikashitsu, uh, in the science room. Uh, I saw him uh, near, the science, near the science room. Minami. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm coming. Uh, let's go meet the cats at the science room. Uh, I need to speak with them again now. Oh, I know this cat. Yeah, it's a, it's a black cat and with a, with a white fur on its belly. Oh, you saw it too, Miwa-chan? Yeah, you often see it at school. That's not fair, I didn't even see it yet. Uh, behind the science room, eh? behind the physics, physics or science, uh, I'm not sure, I think science room, science classroom. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go check. Uh, it's probably because she was sleeping so much, she's really energetic. So, we're gonna go meet a cat now. Oh, it's here. She's not seeing it. Oh, Neko-chan. Let's capture this guy. Yeah, 
even if you hide. Uh, where did it go? Uh, oh, this is the guy we were just controlling, uh, Kurabe, and the other guy is one of the protagonists too, but uh, I forgot his name. Uh, why? Uh, you know why. Uh, this is Kurabe and Amiguchi. Oh, uh, this is Amiguchi, the guy, yeah, the guy, the, the rich guy with the, all the consoles, with all the games and stuff. Okay. Uh, you know, our relationship isn't normal. Amiguchi. Yeah, but this isn't like you. Yeah, but listen to me. It's my first time too. Didn't you? F did, don't you? F didn't you feel anything? Uh, I want to. I want to be sure of it. So go out with me. Uh, this is uh, this is a typical anime cliche. It's saying "skiatteru." Uh, it means "go out with me," but it can also mean "just come with me." So if you don't have the whole dialogue, she's, she, she's definitely gonna think she, they are going out together. Basically. Yeah, I'm not sure about it. Uh, I don't feel too good about it. It's a bit weird. Uh, Fusaka san Huh? Fuyusaka? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I think it's fine. There's a lot of different laws uh, out there. Huh? Uh, please continue. Uh, I think she, she, she's misunderstanding something. Oh, you thought we, you thought we were in a relationship? You're pretty funny. Yeah, this is a misunderstanding. Uh, what we were talking about is about our dreams. Dreams? Oh, I'm thinking about the guy from the morning again. When I think about him, uh, I keep my heart keeps beating. Maybe I really did fall in love with him. Yeah, it's really stupid. Uh, every night I'm seeing, I'm seeing this dream, and I end up waking up in the night. So I'm really sleepy. Uh, let's ask him about dreams. Uh, about dreams? Yeah, recently I'm seeing a lot of really weird dreams. Uh, each time it's a really, it's each time it's a different dream. But it's like uh, GK uh, it's like the it's like the uh, it's like the dreams aren't in the same order. The, the dreams aren't in the same order. So it's like they're connected, but I I don't know how. And what was surprising is that Kurabe. Is, is also having the same dreams, the same kind of dreams. And the more we talk about these dreams, the more we, rea we realize they are, they are the same situations and the same... What? The same way? I didn't get it. Yeah, basically they are having the same dreams and they, have the, uh, they are in the same situations, in the same places. So I was wondering if I maybe if I maybe I'm actually sharing sharing my dream with him. I think it's because of the movies we're we're watching. Yeah, we I mean we become friends because because we first met at the rental video shop. But I think it's different. 
Maybe we connected telepathically. Uh, if it's not it, then it's like we are, we are seeing it's like we're seeing visions of the future. Uh, from the future. So yeah. Uh, so yeah. Uh, uh, the next time we see dreams, we want to make sure of it. Uh, sorry for telling you about a really strange story. No, I mean. Uh, I thought you guys were in this in in that kind of relationship. So I'm sorry. I just oh class is starting. Uh, we'll keep talking later. Let's go back to our classroom. So now we finished uh, another prologue. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the next screen. Uh, so now we have the second battle, episode two, which is uh, so yeah. So there are one, two, three, five, four, six, seven. There are seven tutorial battles, and then I guess the like the real game and the brackets will will be starting for real. But for now, it's still the tutorial on the product. Uh, we're gonna save again. Uh, we're gonna keep going a bit for maybe another 30 minutes like I'm gonna do this second battle uh, May 27th uh, 4 uh, at uh, 4 4 p.m. 4 p.m. 32 minutes uh, What? Oh yeah, I I got in this robot and oh thank God you're fine. A Kurabe? Fusaka, uh, everything uh, happened just like you said. Yeah, see, uh, there's tons of monsters now, right? Yeah, uh, uh, giant monsters are definitely best to be seen in movies than in real life. It seems like more are coming. Can you move your sentinel? Yeah, I'll try that. But it seems there it's broken here and there. Uh, uh, this is a second generation Sentinel, and uh, it's weighing over 2,200 tons. So it's really it's it's too heavy, so the frame is uh, so the frame is uh, trembling. So I I need to be careful and. Uh, stay focused, uh, more G's are appearing. Uh, what are these D's you keep talking about? There's a Deimos. Deimos. Uh, this, this is the name of the giant monsters. Uh, the the giant monsters are aiming for the for the nucleus for the nucleus. Uh, uh, yeah, that's how do you say this in English again? Nucleus, I guess. Yes, uh, the core. Yeah, the core. They're aiming for the core. And to attain to reach the core, the giant monsters are attacking the terminal, which are connected to each core. And if the core get destroyed, then the the town, the city will, will get destroyed. 
that we we are too few in numbers so if we just stay on the defense uh, we'll eventually lose so we need to activate the self the self defense system of the terminals Uh, if you do that, the, this area will be completely protected and the D won't be able to attack anymore. Oh, this is the Aegis, the Aegis thing the teacher talk about, right? Is, is it fine? No, we can only use it uh, to buy time. Uh, so how do we activate it? Uh, you just need to be close. Uh, uh, move to the entry points of the G. Uh, you mean we need to go where the giant masters are attacking? Yeah, and below this point is a terminal. So this is a terminal. Uh, no. uh, move to the terminal. Uh, so this is a tutorial to teach you how to move your sentinels, your sentinels mecha. Uh, so we pick, uh, leave right and left uh, with the G with the G, G pad. You can select which unit you want to move. Uh, we can see that Fuyusaka and Kurabe both have sentinel, both have generation two sentinels, meaning they are the same robot. And uh, we can do action, we can move now, we're gonna move Fiyosaka to the terminal. Uh, as you can see, you can only move uh, on the blue lines, uh, on the streets basically. You can't move through, through the buildings or else you will break the buildings. Uh, it seems you can, we can move really far away. Yeah, you can do quite a lot of distance. Or maybe it's not limited because this is a, a tutorial. Oh no, it's limited, okay. So I can, this is the whole distance I can do. So this sentinel can move like really far away. She can move really far away. So yeah, now she's moving, okay. And we're gonna move him to Kurabe. Uh, we'll move him next to the terminal. Okay. Okay, you guys are here. Uh, now, uh, send a signal uh, 300 meters below the terminal. And with your access IDs, uh, it should be it should be activating. And now it's fine. The giant monsters won't be appearing anymore. No, it's not over yet. Uh, the self-defense system, the Aegis, uh, takes time to activate. So, uh, during the time it takes to activate, you need to protect the terminal from the monsters. Okay, we'll do it. Warning, uh, uh, G signals have appeared uh, and are closing in in the attacking area. Entering battle mode. So okay, now we can see that the terminal's uh, HP is at the top left, and we need to protect it. Uh, if we don't protect it, it's game over. And uh, yeah, this is like I was saying, it's a tactical RPG, but there's also the tower defense elements because we need to protect this terminal. Okay. So now there's some group, there's a group of enemies here. So I'm gonna use the missiles and attack these, these guys. And I'm gonna attack with Kurabe with the knuckle and attack this big guy because each monster have different uh, weaknesses. Uh, now I need to wait for the Joshu 
yeah Mazuki is like a uh, it's really interesting because it's tactical RPG but uh, mixed with RTB because you need to wait for the characters for the characters RTB George to be filled to act to act again like Kurabe can act again but Fusaka you can see the George isn't full yet so she can't act again so now I'm gonna attack with Kurabe uh, I'm gonna use uh, we have the his punch attack uh, machine machine guns, machine cannon, and the rockets. Uh, let's use the machine cannon. Uh, let's let's aim at these guys. So we need to protect the terminal. Uh, no action. Uh, this is sentry gun. Oh, I can summon a. Uh, I can summon a, a sentry gun, a, a turret basically, so it will be able to attack automatically. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna summon it here. So now it's gonna attack. See? Uh, I'm gonna move Kurabe. And, and the sentry gun is also gonna get attacked by the monster. So let's move Kurabe and punch the monster. Okay. Uh, I've confirmed that the Aegis system has activated. Now this area will be protected. Uh, you too, you can still move your sentinels? Yes, I'm still fine. Yeah, I can fight too. Hey, who's fighting? Who's fighting up there? Oh, you are you piloting a sentinel too. Uh, who are you? And this is uh, this is the sentinel number twelve. This is uh, this is Okino's unit. I'm I'm Hijiyama. I'm Hijiyama Takatoshi, and this is my sentinel. Hijiyama Takatoshi, oh yeah, at that time he was with Okino. I have come here to protect humanity, leave it to me. Uh, the communication uh, has cut. Uh, I've localized his sentinel and he seems to be pretty far away from here. Uh, he seems to be alone. He won't be fine, Aaron, uh, all by himself, right? Yeah, uh, I'll go. I'll go join up with him. You guys uh, move on to the next, to the to the area, to the side area, to the area at this side. Wait, uh, which side? Which side are you talking about? Uh, it's this way. Follow me. Okay, so that was the second tutorial battle. And now we're gonna move on again to the adventure part. Hmm. And see, it's it's written in a really interesting way because this is the guy we just met in, uh, in battle, and now we're gonna control him. Uh, Hijiyama. I'm gonna save first. Uh, we're gonna do this guy, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna cut because it's gonna be too soon. So Hijiyama Takatoshi, Hijiyama Takatoshi. Uh, uh, it's 1944. So this is in the past. This is during the war. Uh, it seems like uh, there's some there's some movements in this part too now. I need to hurry up and, and leave this place. Oh, the 
the access password, the access key for the for the teleportation device was changed. Even even out is useless. Oh, you were following me, Hijiyama. No, I'm, I'm sure this is some kind of misunderstanding. You couldn't be a spy. <laughs> huh, I'm sure uh, Professor Doji said something like that. Huh? Oh, so yeah, now I'm controlling uh, Hijiyama. Why did you run away? Uh, because you stole, uh, because you stole some secret research, uh, the the girls are looking for you now, are searching for you now. Uh, I can't believe that the, the that the doctor or the professor would be a spy. Uh, sorry to tell you this, but I'm actually not his real doctor. The the real Kiriko, the the real Doji Kiriko is in Tokyo. But I didn't think that they would think I'm a spy. Since I mean I don't need to I don't need to steal their research on the Sentinels. Since I'm the one who made the Sentinels. Yeah. Uh, let's think about this. Uh, so, Professor Doji is the professor who, who started the who started the, the Sentinel project, and this is this is uh, his daughter, which came here with him, Kiriko. But actually, it seems like uh, it's not uh, it's not his real daughter. He's not his real daughter. Uh, let's think about the Sentinels. Oh, we can think about it again since it's still green. Uh, oh no, he's saying the same thing. Okay. Uh, is he serious? Uh, she really met the Sentinels? Uh, let's ask her about it. Uh, this is really surprising, I can't believe it. You made the Sentinels? Yes, it's true. Uh, Edita? Uh, what's Edita? I'm not sure what, is, what she's talking about. I'm the one who... I'm the one who, who built the automatic, uh, the automatic factory. No, I'm sure you're having, like, I'm sure you, you're confused right now, and you're saying you're not saying the truth. I'm the one who, who put your Renke, what? Renketsu Sochu. I'm not sure what this means. Let me check the dictionary. Renketsu Sochu. Uh, I'm gonna check the dictionary because I'm not sure what she's talking about. Renketsu Sochu. Oh yeah, basically she's saying she's the one who connected him to his sentinel. Uh, she can connect people to their own sentinel and make them pilots, basically. Okay. Renketsu, so she, she's the she say, she's saying I'm the one who put you the the linking system inside your head. But you probably don't remember. When I joined the factory, I was told it was to help the professor. Yeah, I mean, we needed to make a reason for you to come, or else you would be, you would be suspicious. Oh, uh, wrong button. 
Uh, if the real Kimiko isn't here, then who the hell are you? Uh, even if I explain to you, you won't believe me. And uh, what are you feeling for me? Uh, is it really important if it's re if it's real if your feelings are real or not? Uh, this uh, basically he's in love with her and she's saying that uh, uh, you are a bit uh, guchoku. Guchoku, you are a bit uh, like uh, uh, let me check this. You are a bit good. You are a bit like you are a bit too too frank, but you you also you're too honest. But you also um, you also have um, a keen vision on things. Like you, what do you mean? I mean, well, she said. She said, "I just finished my my job here, so I'm, I'm gonna leave." This is goodbye. She teleported. Kiriko-san. She disappeared. This is impossible. Oh, the sky is really beautiful. Like, look at this moon. It looks like a painting. Uh, so yeah. I can shiraberu, shiraberu. Yeah, there's something here. In just an instant, it's impossible for her to have disappeared like that. Just where did Kiriko-san go? Uh, someone is coming. Hey, this is the guy who, who snuck in in the factory. He's definitely suspicious, but if if he's uh, if he's one of her friends, then maybe he knows where did she go. I'm gonna hide and see what he's gonna do. Let's hide. Where do we hide? Uh, let's hide here. Uh, Tokisaka Shrine. Uh, it seems that there's some teleportation. Uh, there's a there's Okino's teleportation uh, history uh, recorded. Maybe if I if I pursue him right now, uh, if I'll be able to to catch him. Uh, the setting is on is is regulated on sector four on on 1984. I give up. You can't run away. Hijiyama, you damn spy! Don't think you can run away. What are you doing here? Even if I explain, even if I tell you, you'll just be laughing. If you don't tell me uh, honestly, you'll be, you will be sorry. I'm about to go to another era from here. Are you crazy? Betsu no Jidai. Going to another era, to another time. 
this man is saying he can time travel. He doesn't seem to be. He doesn't seem to be talking about、uh, novels writing. Oh, same thing.、Okay. Yeah, even explaining it to you is useless. Another hero, huh?、Uh, you, you better think about a, a better way to get you out of this situation.、Uh, this Doji Kiriko you're talking about, she teleported from here. And she ran away to the future. So you know Doji Kirika? Yeah.、Uh, as I thought. Yeah, but it's not. Doji Kiriko is, isn't her real name. Really? She just told me the same thing. Huh, her, huh? She, he really deceived you because he's actually, he's actually that guy. This guy's, this, guy's, this guy's name is Okino Tsukasa. And he's,、uh, he was cross dressing. It was a cross dressing guy. You can't fool me. This is impossible. You won't be able to fool me. Yeah, don't bother me anymore. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove to him. So you know where she is, huh? Where is it? Bring me with you.、Uh, you're gonna be,、uh, you're gonna be blocked in. Fall back. I'm gonna teleport now. Oh, time travel, huh? If you can really do it, then just activate it. Huh, whatever happens,、uh, I'm, gonna, I'm not gonna hear your complaints. So now we time travel to the future, to the, to the 80s. And these are the r e n q u i n s He's saying、uh, this bastard is, is really late. Uh, I'm pretty sure he got scared because Majima san, you, you called him. So he ran away, huh? He, he, he was just really old back, no bite. Hey, you, wait. What is it? No, so, oh yeah, this is this guy now that is in the future. Okino Tsuka san. I really can't believe it. Doji Kiriko was actually a, a man cross dressing. And his real name is Okino Tsuka san. Yakisoba pan. Uh, this, is this is a sandwich with、uh, sauce and with, uh, with uh, yeah, soba.、Uh, uh, what do you say? Oh,、uh, he's, saying, he's saying basically because he's from the past,、uh, he's from, he's from、uh, 4044, when the World War was happening, he's just saying, like, I didn't believe、uh, such food would be invented, would be popular after the war. Basically, that's what he's saying. Hey, don't mess with me. You think you can just leave after, after bedding on, uh, in my shoulder? I apologize. Uh, I really I really bumped into you. Oh, sorry, Jen. If, if you thought you, you could solve this with, with just being sorry, then we will not need the police. 
What, if you want the money, I don't have any on me. Let's just leave these guys. Hey, I told you to wait. Hey, Majima, this guy... This guy... This guy is the uh, is the uh, guy everyone's having rumors about lately. Is the uh, is the uh, is the guy chasing chasing uh, delinquents? Gakuran Gary, Gakuran uh, Gakuran is the old uh, school uniform guys used to wear in the past, and he's saying that this guy is chasing uh, delinquents with uh, Gakurans. Nai. Oh yeah, he's wearing the same Gakuran uniform as us. Oh, so you guys are friends with those other guys. Yeah, but anyway, here there's no one else but, or, but ourselves. Uh, I'm not sure what it's saying. Oh yeah, basically he's saying that uh, he was hunting uh, delinquents because he stole their clothes and money. He, he stole the uniform he's wearing basically. Uh, tell you guys I'm thankful for lending me their uniform and money. Uh, later. Hey, don't run away. Oh, my yakisoba pan. I didn't even start eating it. Just what evil deed have you just done? Huh? You wanna complain? Seems like you won't understand unless I beat you up. Hey, guys. Let's beat him. We are sorry. We will we we'll reimburse you the bread, so just leave us alone. I, I don't forgive people who, who waste food. Especially if it's yakisoba pan. Huh? What's happening here? Uh, Majima, what are you doing? Didn't you call me here? Who are you? Are you one of their friends? No, I'm... I'm uh, Ogata... I'm... I'm Ogata Nenji from Sakura School. What are you doing bedding in inside other people's fights? So, is the guy who was about to fight them? Uh, he's the guy they were waiting for to fight, to fight with, basically. Hey, bastard! I know you. You're this, you, you're this Hijiyama guy who, who stole some Gakuran uniforms. Uh, uh, I, I told them I didn't need the uniform, but they really wanted me to, 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 to borrow it, so I just did. Yeah, you're definitely lying. Don't get carried on. You're the one getting carried on here. Look, look at your opponent before opening your mouth. Yeah, bring it on. Are you gonna pay with you? How's that gonna fight? Come. Yeah, you're gonna regret this. Hey, who's this person? Oh. 
Ah, you already accustomed to this era. It's saying Showa Rokujunen. Uh, Showa is one of the one of the time periods in Japan. You, you had you had the uh, uh, Showa was in the in the eighties basically. So it's saying, oh, you already accustomed to the eighties. I didn't need to. I didn't need to check you out or how you're doing. Oh, but this face and this voice, it can be. Wait! Hey, bastard! Where are you going? We were going to fight. Hey, move! Uh, it's gonna be down soon. I think uh, I lost him around here. I'm serious, he's somewhere nearby. That bastard's kick was really effective, and I'm still hurt from me from his kick. He was a guy with a, with a lot of guts. Uh, he, he, it really took me a lot of time to deal with him. I need to get to go up. Shidabiru. Ah, uh, it's locked. Uh, I can't punch. I just kick the door. No. I. Uh... Uh, some even gonna happen, I guess. Yeah, it's it's her, it's him. Oh, so you found me. Kiriko-san. Oh, so I guess you looked for me all night, huh? Uh, uh, you're really reckless as always. You won't fool me. Why are we in this close? Uh, I, I, I thought you'd be here soon. So I actually made breakfast for you too. I've been looking for you for, for half a year. I've got tons of things to tell you. Uh, I bought some yakisoba pan too because I saw you didn't get to eat one yesterday. Oh, yakisoba pan, huh? No, you won't fool me. Bring me back to my original era. Uh, no matter what you say, I'll force you to bring me back. And if I don't want to, you're gonna push me down? Don't joke around. You, you actually a guy, right? Uh, really? You want to check? Oh yeah, he's saying the same thing, okay. Oh uh, uh, yeah, I need to ask him about it, okay. Why is Kiriko-san... Uh, why did you falsify your identity as Doji Kiriko? Uh, Do Professor Doji was actually okay with it. Uh, how do I uh, how do I say this? Uh, uh, professor Doji is uh, a professor who's who's linked with the richers uh, from Shikishima. Uh, 
戦後飛躍的な進歩を遂げる Uh, it's thanks to Professor Doji that、uh, Shikishima got so much advancements, so much war, war、uh, so much、uh, fighting technologies advancements. Because I, I'm the one who talked to him、uh, technology from the future. Why did you do this kind of.、Uh, why did you teach him. Why did you do this deal? Because of the Sentinels. Uh, your real name is Oki no Tsukasa, right?、Uh, you are a guy, but you're dressing as a girl. Yeah, you're talking about this now. You're, you're talking rudely to me now, but you're the one who confessed to me. Uh, I mean, when I went to this old era, since I'm a frail guy,、uh, instead of, uh, instead, of uh, instead of shaving my head, is, isn't it better to just dress as a girl? Yeah, if, if it was just to, feel, to fit in in that era, then why are you dressing as a girl even now? Because I, I thought it makes you happy.、Uh, Hijiyama, you're really a funny guy.、Uh, it's better this way. Because when I'm dressed as a girl, I can hide the fact that I'm alive. So he's supposed to be dead or something. And he's dressing as a girl to, to hide himself. What were you planning to do with the Sentinels?、Uh, the reason why a Sentinel appeared in that place was an accident. Uh, you can understand that uh, in Showa 20,、uh, Showa 20 will be like、uh, yeah, during the war in 1944. Like,、uh, you, you understood that these this,、uh, Sentinels aren't、uh, the kind of things that could be made in that era, right? But even 40 years later, in the era we are in right now, it's impossible to make Sentinels. Sentinels are something which, which were made in, a, in an era much further in the future, in, in an era and in facilities where everything is automatic.、Uh, to tell you, to explain to you in a, sim in a simple way,、uh, the Sentinel was teleported、uh, by, as, by accident in the past. Oh no, wait,、uh, I'm gonna get that.、Uh, I, was, I thought he was gonna say this, but he's saying、uh, I, I needed to, re to repair the Sentinel to be able to fight. So it wasn't,、uh, it wasn't to fight against the Americans. Who are you planning to fight against?、Uh, what are you planning to fight against? Anyway. I need to go back to my original era.、Uh, if, we, um, if, we complete the Sentinel's plan, then we'll be able to turn the tides of the war.、Uh, you have some good points, but yeah, you're really too frank, too simple minded. Yeah, say whatever you want. Whoever you are, I, I definitely make you take me back to my original era. Uh, I saw、um, the, the, the The, the bombings, the air bombings in which happened in different cities,、uh, Ochu, Okinawa,、uh, and Nagasaki, Hiroshima and Nagasaki.、Uh, I, can't let this, uh, I can't let this happen or many people will die. 
Oh, so you read about that? You read about that in the library, yeah? Uh, basically, Hijima is telling that he saw that uh, the Americans use use a nuclear bomb, basically in Japan, and he, he wanna go back to the to his era to stop this. Uh, uh, so you so you managed to adapt to this era and live day by day. You really you really uh, you more you more dependable than I thought. Oh, so you've been so you've been um, you've been monitoring me all this time, huh? Uh, I've got uh, uh, a piece of advice for you. Uh, there's, a, there's a something I must do in this era in 1985. So I want you to wait until I'm done with this job. Or rather, I want you to help me with this job. Because it's not unrelated to you either. When everything is over, uh, I'll do anything you want. How about it? Anything I want? No, but you're you're going to go back with me, right? Uh, if you want, if you want, so if you if you want it. Uh, think about it uh, calmly. Uh, uh, the second floor in this building is my base. Where are you going? Uh, I'm wearing a school uniform, so there's only one place I'm gonna go to. Oh, right. Uh, I left the yakisoba pan uh, on the desk. Uh, re see, you're really hungry, right? You didn't eat anything since, since yesterday, right? Uh, the door is open. You won't fool me with some food. Yeah, don't act so tough and just go, just go take it. Okay. Where did he go? Uh, so he, he really tricked me with some food, huh? But yeah, it's yakisoba pan, so it's fine. So it's fine. Yakisoba pan, taberu. Let's eat the yakisoba pan. So I'm gonna eat now. Ah, so tasty. Uh, the the bitterness and the and the sweetness of the sauce is really nice. I really can't get enough of it. Safe uh, a place where you go when you're wearing a uniform, huh? so school. What is he planning to do at school? Let's go to the school too. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna look for Okino. I can't let him run away like this. Uh, I, he probably went to his mother, to his uh, mother, Boko. What is Boko? Let me check this. I guess it's a synonym for school, but I'm not sure if I ever heard this word before. Uh, yeah, whatever. I, I'm just gonna check later. Oh, 
Oh yeah, Boko is a um, Boko is your old school basically. It's, it's your uh, what do you say just in our uh, alma mater? Alma mater. I'm not sure how you pronounce this, but Boto Boko, sorry, is your old school in Japanese. Okay, so he's going to Hijama is gonna check his old school because that's probably where Okinawa went to. Uh, uh, so we're done with another product now. Um, it's nearly been two hours now, so I'm gonna cut this out and this, I'm gonna end this first episode of our Let's Play uh, on 13 Sentinels. So I hope you liked it. Uh, I'll be doing another video soon, so stay tuned on Dual Shockers. Uh, so yeah, I'm Ian Agosta from Dual Shockers, and we're gonna do regular Let's Play videos like this on 13 Sentinels because the game won't be out in the West anytime soon, like just the readers did, but uh, they didn't say when the readers that will be. And this game just got out in Japan, so I'm just gonna play it and keep doing this videos. I hope you like it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, remember to subscribe and post some comments and stay tuned on the other because we'll keep doing these videos. Thank you for watching and see you later.